I've made this mistake and I lost two of my videos that I had to redo. This is ultimately the best thing that you can do. So Instagram has made a major change when it comes to Instagram Reels and how it distributes that content and how much traffic you are going to be getting. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to repurpose your TikTok videos into Instagram Reels without getting shadow banned. So keep on watching. My name is Julian Ostrowska from julianostrowska.com and this is the best place for coaches and consultants who want to turn social media into cash flow. So in this video, we are talking all things Instagram Reels and how how to repurpose your TikTok videos into Instagram Reels without having the watermark of TikTok. So the newest update that Instagram has made is the fact that when you upload a video into Instagram, if it has any sort of watermark on it, whether that's TikTok, whether that's some sort of video editing, but particularly TikTok, you know, every single time you edit a video on TikTok and you save it to your phone, it has the watermark either at the bottom, bottom right corner, or it has it somewhere in the middle as well, or it has it like in all kinds of different places. So that's is no longer going to be effective inside of your Instagram Reels. But there are two specific ways how you can download your TikTok videos without having the watermark. So I am going to dive into my phone and I'm going to show you how to do that. But definitely check out this article down below that I'm going to link that covers that in very details. And I'm going to show you how to make it happen without getting shadow banned. Okay, now there's something that used to work on TikTok that no longer works. So I want to save you some time of you not doing that because I've made this mistake and I lost two of my videos that I had to redo. So what you used to be able to do is you used to be able to go to TikTok, you would go into your videos and I'm going into my recent videos right now. And then you click on this three dots and then you, you know, obviously when you save the video, that video is just going to be with a watermark and that's not what we want. And it's literally covered, covers like half of your screen kind of. So that's not something that you want to do. So we used to be able to download it as a live photo and then you go into your phone gallery. So right now it's still converting into live photo. You go into your phone gallery and you save it as a video. So I'm not even going to show it to you like because it's still converting. So it does take a hot minute. But what it does right now when you convert a live photo into a video is it does not have the sound of the TikTok. So it used to have the sound and you just put it up on Instagram and call it a day. No, 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 that does not work no more. So what I'm going to do right now inside of my TikTok account, so I'm just going to go into one video and I'm going to play, you know, whichever, right? So when you go into the editor, you tap the video and then instead of you selecting the cover, so obviously, first of all, you want to add all the changes, add all the settings and whatnot. And then I make sure that I turn on my screen recording on my phone and then I, instead of selecting the cover, I just click on the actual video and I just let it play. So this one is actually, you're probably going to be able to see it on the video. It has the TikTok watermark, um, just because it's, it just downloaded weird. So like I lost this video that I had to re upload it and it was just a mess. Like I was testing this whole live feature, live photo thing, turning into a, a video and it didn't work. So that's why it does have the watermark. So you download that in case you have like something, if you, in case you are in the same situation, like I am when you downloaded it and then you had to re upload the sound, what you want to do is you want to go over into the app called InShot and then you can place that video there. So it's going to show me a bunch of tutorials right now. So you want to go there, you click the new and then I have one video that I've already kind of did. So, and I, so you just remove this once and then you want to choose the canvas. And you know, right now I don't really have anything on this particular video, but you just want to blow up the video just a little bit just a tad bit so it doesn't have, you know, so you don't see the watermark and then you save it and it's going to be working just fine. Now, in case you have already published the video and you're like, dang, like I already have the videos uploaded. I already have the videos published. So what you want to do, let's say if I want to go into one of my videos. So there's one that I published in particular love business, you know, watch this. So I have this one video. So instead of me downloading it, so there is an app uh, that I'm about to show you how to use. So I'm going to pause this video so it's not playing. Click on those three dots on your phone. And instead of you downloading or live photo or anything like that, you want to click on copy the link and it's copied. And then there is an app called Safe Talk. So I'm going to leave a link down below for you, but you just search App Store or Google Store. 
And you go there and what you want to do, I've already tested it on one of my videos, you want to click on save TikTok and save talk posted from TikTok. So it's already processing the video. And then what you want to do is just save now and then you wait for it to process. So that's the trick on how to do that. So this is the process that you want to follow if you're still going to be recording videos using TikTok. So right now, if I go over into my phone gallery, this video has been, it says finish saving Jelena TikTok, click open in photos, and then this video is clean. And so that's honestly the best solution for you so far. I'm sure there are going to be more apps and more features and more options for you to record videos. But for now, this is ultimately the best thing that you can do when it comes to TikTok. Either screen record it on your phone uh, before you actually publish. You want to make sure you do it before you publish because otherwise you're not going to be able to do that. Otherwise, you just use the Safe Talk or any other app. There's several different options. So if you can't find this on Android, you're definitely going to be able to find some some sort of app that will allow you to download that. But that's ultimately the best solution right now. But you want to make sure that moving on all of your TikToks that you record inside of TikTok, you uh, save them in using one of these two ways and you publish them on Instagram without any sort of watermark to make sure that cold followers or like non-followers are able to see your content. So that's all I have for you for this video. If you want more videos and tutorials and trainings about Instagram Reels, about TikToks, definitely let me know down below into the comment section. I will be more than happy to record more of these. Uh, I also recommend for you to download my content cheat sheet that I'm gonna leave a link down below as well, where I share 333 TikTok ideas and video ideas for your TikToks and Instagram Reels. I know you are going to get so much value out of it and you're gonna make your content so much easier. So highly recommend for you to get that. And with that being said, I appreciate you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button down below, hit the bell sign as well to get notified every single time I publish a new video. And before you leave, check out these two videos right here, all about content marketing, Instagram. That's all I'm talking about on this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.